Hello, beautiful day and uh, I'm just about to go to the cinema. But I was mulling things out, so excuse me, I'm walking quite fast because as usual, I'm skidding in just in time. But I got my ticket already, so we're fine. And my pashmina for when it gets cold inside, even though it's beautiful outside here. Okay, I'm, I was just mulling things over. Um, I bought some cushions today and it's not, it's not a video about cushions, but I bought some cushions today and I spent a fair amount of money on them. And I was just thinking the whole thing about thinking wholesale, not retail. Cause okay, this is for maybe the folks interested in uh, interior design. So possibly more the ladies than the guys, but you know, guys swing with us sisters. Um, when you do interior design, you want to be looking at threes, fives, sevens, odd numbers, and actually larger numbers make the whole thing look better. So if you buy one cushion, it's like, yeah, well done. If you buy, oh, what did I buy? Seven or eight today. It just looks a lot better. And then I was thinking about houses because, you know, we've sourced over 200 deals, 45 million quid's worth of property that we got an agreed price of 30 million quid. So, and that was before refurb, so there was some refurb costs in there too. And the whole way through, I was thinking wholesale, not retail. And, and I think it's because my background, I used to run, when I was 22, I used to run a fair trade business. Um, and I expanded it from like a tiny little startup. Oh, you've got to see this place. It's so beautiful. Look at that, and there's a flat for sale in there right now. See, think wholesale keeper. Um, and so, yeah, the whole time I, I was a retailer and um, selling things like you know, Guatemalan worry dolls and carvings from Indonesia and, and just um, fair trade food. And I did that when I was 22, so that was I'm not going to tell you how long ago now, but it was a fairly significant amount of time ago, like half a lifetime ago, uh, when fair trade was quite new. And I expanded it from a little tiny market stall up to five shops in Scotland. And we used to run out uh, and take a three and a half ton do uh, Dodge van to lots of festivals. Festivals. So the whole time I was very much used to thinking wholesale, buying stock wholesale, thinking wholesale, doing cash flow, you know, all the usual small business stuff, managing team, all the rest of it. And I think I was just mulling over, I was going to cinema. I'm gonna go, whoops, I'm gonna go and see Hotel Salvation. I hear it's really good. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but the whole time when I've been doing this business, like normally you only ever buy like one house, don't you? Or you might buy I mean, I thought that owning 10 houses was extraordinary, you know, and I blasted through that pretty damn quickly. Uh, one year we did 43 deals. Uh, one year we did 60 deals. One year we did bang on 50 deals. So yeah, kind of blasted through that. So by thinking wholesale, somehow it's a bit like the hurdles. Um, if you think retail, like I'm gonna buy a house, I'm a retail buyer, like the only hurdle is the high jump and that's that one house and that's the only thing you can jump over once and then you boom, you land on your back and you're like and up you get. If you think wholesale, buying houses now starts to feel like you're going over a hurdle track and well, I don't even know how many hurdles are in a hurdle track but let's just say there's 10 so you're like do 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 and and the buying of that one particular house is not the thing that stops you it is simply one small percentage of the overall journey so think wholesale in terms of your goals think wholesale in terms of you're effectively buying a house at a discount which is a wholesale discount which is then marked up for retails think wholesale when you're um, buying stuff to put in your houses and basically I suppose it means think big but it also means thinking differently to what everybody else is doing because everyone else is a retail consumer of property and you're effectively a hotel a ho wholesale I'll say the word I think I need some popcorn a wholesale consumer of property now I hope that makes sense because it made sense to me and I thought I'd squeeze in a bit whoops just before I hit the cinema and look for August bank holiday have fun whatever you guys are doing. Bye.